looks like the comfortable home of a well-off Victorian gentleman. And that's exactly what it was. But it's also the place where a genius could hone his ideas in the peace and quiet of the English countryside. And the result of all that hard work and thinking, one of the most influential scientific breakthroughs of all time, the theory of evolution. Down House was the home of Charles Darwin. As a young man in the 1830s, Darwin sailed around the world as the onboard naturalist of HMS Beagle, gathering scientific specimens, making notes and thinking about the extraordinary animals and plants he saw. Darwin returned to England and eventually settled here in Kent with his family. This is where he started to distill his early studies into a theory that would change how we understand life on Earth. It was in this wonderful book line study that Darwin did his best work. In fact, where he wrote up his work because he went through his notes meticulously that he'd collected on his world trip in HMS Beagle and the result of the experiments that he performed in the gardens here and in the fields surrounding it. What I love about this room is that nearly everything in it would have been recognisable to Darwin. You've got his wonderful desk here, you've got his scalpels and some other tools there, and his microscope for his dissections. Over here you've got his writing board, and this is his chair with the arms rubbed by nervous hands. Looking after Down House's remarkable contents is English Heritage's collections and interiors curator, Olivia Fryman. Down was Darwin's open air laboratory. He did so many observations in the environment and the landscape here. And we have this wonderful book, this little specimens catalogue, which records some of the experiments that he did in the gardens here at Down. You can see Darwin's very scribbled writing, and he records the date. This is, this is the 1850s here. And there's some wonderful experiments recorded in here. So for example, he decides he wants to test the longevity of frog spawn and he lays it all out in the hall on various pieces of paper and leaves it for various lengths of time and figures out, you know, frog spawn doesn't survive out of water. <laughs> so Down is both a family home, but it's also a very experimental place. It's a place where science, you know, mixed with family life all the time. Not just any old science, not some of the most important science ever conducted. Yes. The result of all that meticulous research was this. Darwin's masterpiece, On the Origin of Species. A precious print sits proudly in Darwin's study today. This is a first edition copy. This is one of 1,250 copies that were printed in 1859, wow, that and that sold out immediately. The main idea in the book is that populations evolve over time through uh, natural selection. That is the process whereby organisms that are better adapted to their environment tend to thrive, survive, and reproduce more, and therefore they become dominant. Favourable traits are passed on to the next generation, but there's always some variation. So it's a continuing process. Although we credit his voyage on the Beagle and going to the Galapagos, seeing all these kind of amazing, unusual creatures, actually just wandering about here at Down, looking at the natural world, that was just as important. Yes, experiments that all led to his great kind of moment, his publication of The Origin. And which he would have written, well, literally at this desk. He wrote The Origin here in this room, sitting in this very chair and using this, this writing board as well. It went viral. Everybody knew who Darwin was, and he was caricatured in the popular press. So this one is one of many cartoons that shows Darwin as part ape, part man. Cartoonists actually played a lot on the physical resemblance between an ape and Darwin, who was himself, had a thick, heavy beard and very bushy eyebrows. It's so fascinating, this cosy Victorian house just outside London in its bucolic setting. It's actually one of the most revolutionary places in the world. It is. This is definitely a history where it happened place. Down and the surrounding landscape, the gardens, is where Darwin changed the world.
Great events don't just happen in the grandest of buildings, the palaces and the parliaments, but in more modest homes, workplaces, all over the world, places where there is space to think and write. And that's why Down House has a claim to be at the very heart of the history of science.